Hello YouTube, Phil20 here today and what I want to go ahead and show you is I decided to actually go out and get the same color wire. I was going to use electric tape which is fine but you know I wanted to go ahead and get the uh, same color wire. So here's our red wire. One's going to be for uh, the inverter power going in. One's going to be for the inverter power going to the pan sub panel. And this is going to be for the uh, <coughs> inverter sub panel. This is going to be for you know ground, right here is our ground. So okay, so I've got that wired up. I'll have to separate the wires over here on the left, and I should be able to get all that done. I'm going to get a cover, uh, an extension for this box, and another cover. So we've got all the wires tied up and connected to their uh, corresponding connectors in here versus the corresponding connectors in the breaker panel and sub panel. So we've got that tied in. That's good to go. We use these kind of wire nuts here. I don't know if you've seen them. I use them for number six gauge wire, but currently it'll never be running more than 5,000 watts because it's 4,400 watt inverter and uh, number six gauge is overkill for it but let's say I go and expand this I won't have to change anything in here in the future since I went with number six gauge if I go and put another inverter that's a Magnuson inverter I can attach it directly right here and amplify the power and put more put a bigger sub panel over there but I don't think I'll do that because I'll end up using this inverter right here on the floor. This one here. This is going to be uh, running the stove. I mean, and if in real world case scenario, you know, power hits, goes out indefinitely. I mean, people's going to wait to dry their clothes anyways. They're just going to wash it by hand and then dry it outside. I mean, you're not going to be using internet, video games, no nothing. You're just going to be, you know, running a refrigerator. And that's it. So, I, you know, I'll be able to run a refrigerator indefinitely off of this inverter and battery bank. So, you can see how it's looking so far. And, uh, it's looking pretty good so far. And I really appreciate everybody sticking around watching these videos. I've got the high voltage done. It's grounded, bonded, all the high voltage is complete. Now all I have to do is disconnect this here. I'm going to disconnect the inverter itself. See these two wires right here. It's hard to see. Let me move where you can see it. These wires right here. Okay, so you got all these wires. I'm going to disconnect the wires from the battery bank. I'm going to take this whole pipe completely out because this whole pipe is stuffed with four four arc wires and two tiny wires and let me tell you the last wire that went in there was one of the tiny wires let me it was not easy I mean it took about three hours to get this little tiny red wire I don't know if you can see it but this little tiny red wire out there took me three hours to get it through there and a lot of lubricant and uh, I used a uh, number 10 gauge wire to stuff it down and pull that little tiny wire through there it's tight inside of there and so I don't have to spend two hundred dollars on more wire I'm gonna have to pull it down I'm gonna cut it up here after I get it out I'm gonna cut it up here that way I can go ahead and you know get that out or I might take all of the battery bank wire and everything completely out from here and use a uh, copper tubing cutter and just score the outside of it and then you know break it and then put our couplings back and stuff like that because we're gonna put this box here we're gonna rotate it 180 degrees and that way we have our pipe that will go over here and directly up into the inverter itself you know so 
will be able to go over and up into the inverter. There's knockouts right here designed for this specific size of pipe. So, I've disconnected my solar uh, high voltage. I haven't disconnected the solar low voltage. And right now is a really good time to do it. But it's going to be really hard to do it like that. Because i got to put another pipe right there. And, you know, I have to move this exhaust vent pipe, which is it's going to be okay. No big deal. But I, I think it's coming along real nicely. Tell me what you guys think. And could I have done it better? What would you have done differently? And like, subscribe, and share if you haven't. This is Phil at 20 with Solar Power, Electricity, and Electronics. And I'm going to holler at y'all later.